हेलो गाइस गुड मॉर्निंग वेलकम टू माय चैनल केमिकल डायरी इन लास्ट वीडियो आई हैव एक्सप्लेन यू अबाउट द प्रोडक्शन ऑफ सल्फ्यूरिक एसिड बाय डबल कांटेक्ट डबल अपटोशन सो इन दिस वीडियो आई वुड लाइक टू एक्सप्लेन यू अबाउट द एसिड सेक्शन एसिड सेक्शन इंक्लूड ड्राइंग टॉवर फाइनल अपटोशन टॉवर इंटरमीडिएट अपटोशन टॉवर एंड ऑलियम टॉवर सो इन दिस वीडियो यू आर गोइंग टू लर्न व्हाट आर द फंक्शन ऑफ द अपटोशन टॉवर एंड इक्विपमेंट एक्सेसरीज temperature pressure and about oleum tower and troubleshooting so let's discuss so for a just overview drying tower drying tower the main function of the drying tower is to dry the process air which is going to the furnace whereas final tower and intermediate absorption tower these two tower function is to absorb the sulfur trioxide and react and it react with sulfuric acid to form sulfuric acid so the main function of this final tower and intermediate absorption tower is to absorb the sulfur trioxide gas to convert into sulfuric acid whereas the function of oleum tower is to absorb sul uh, sulfur trioxide gas and convert it into oleum in our main uh, uh, main production is sulfuric acid but some of the companies have oleum tower and some of the company do not have oleum tower our main product is sulfuric acid then why there is a need of keeping oleum tower because oleum tower compared to sulfuric acid oleum is less corrosive and it is easy to transport easy to store compared to sulfuric acid because the oleum temperature remains around 40 degree whereas sulfuric acid is, uh, is 70 degree so it's very dangerous and another thing is that oleum tower Uh, have uh, it's less hygroscopic compared to this. If you keep, for example, take one kg of sulfuric acid and one kg of oleum, so sulfuric as acid become uh, dilute easily compared to oleum. When oleum dilute, it becomes sulfuric acid. So most of the people keeps oleum tower for this reason, and depending upon the plant capacity and plant design. So let's go. Uh, I would like to explain you about the absorption tower. Okay, so. the uh, final absorption tower it is called final because it is at the last this is intermediate absorption tower it means this is intermediate between the process gas so guys this is absorption tower and first of all we we should know about the moc moc of this tower is stainless steel because sulfuric acid is corrosive acid and it is a corrosive to metal so that's why we use stainless steel and lot uh, it is exothermic reaction so heat is released so there should be insulation on this and if you do not want it to use stainless steel then you can use carbon steel also but uh, make sure that carbon steel should be brick line the this line should be brick line so that acid will not get contact with the carbon steel so this is the moc and about this this is the acid distributor the distrib the acid distributor moc is stainless steel because uh, sulfuric acid co corrosive so that's why we use stainless steel not other type of steel or the type of metal and these are the filter these are the filter used for uh, separating mist or acid particle from the process from the gas process gas and the 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 ceramic packing here uh, ceramic packing will be there and the packing size may be 75 mm or 50 mm or some may use 25 mm depending upon the plant design and this is the acid reservoir where acid uh, get a reserve from here acid falls down and here acid is collected and from here it goes to the uh, suction uh, suction of the acid circulation pump so guys this is the absorption tower now let's go for the process this absorption tower where so3 gas or so2 gas process gas from the converter comes from the bottom and slowly goes to the top and from here it contact with the uh, sulfuric acid here ceramic packing the main function of the cer ceramic packing is to give a mixing proper mixing and it increases the contact time so what happen gas and this sulfuric acid mixes so sulfur uh, therefore sulfur trioxide mixes with sulfuric acid and then the the remaining gas uh, so two or air whatever the gas or tail gas will go out from here 
to here so the function of this candle filter these are called fender candle filter or you can say mr eliminator the the main function of this filter is to filter the mess acid mist from the gas so that dry gas will go to the process equipment if if the dry gas carries the acid mist then what will happen in the, in another equipment the acid mist will settle and it will corrode the equipment and it will be huge loss to the company so that is why we keep this candle filter okay so equipment i have completed and uh, accessories we use as acid distributor the mostly of the acid distributor is stainless steel and it has two three four five type pipes depending upon the design of the tower so what happen acid will flow from here 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 so it so it distribute uniformly all over the packing so so from here acid goes down and from here gas goes up so, so both contact and sulfur trioxide get absorbed in acid thus this is the reservoir and this is the reservoir and in reservoir you will have a di yeah, you will have ti pressure temperature pressure temperature to check the uh, acid temperature and pressure inside the tower so now i am going to explain you about the temperature and pressure this is absorption tower so it is easier compared to other type of reactor there is no much reaction just absorption take place so for a good absorption we should maintain a good temperature and good pressure so acid pressure must be enough so that if low pressure what will happen gas will not get uh, absorbed in sulfuric acid because of low pressure or low flow so it will go directly so that that would be a loss to us and it will be a, and the, the gas will go to the uh, final tower and from final tower it will go to the environment so it is a it is bad for the environment and loss for the acid so acid uh, pressure should be more and flow should be uniform not too high not too low and the gas pressure should be not too high not too low according to the design we should maintain temperature more above 75 or 75 not below 60 or 65 what will happen if low temperature we maintain then concentration will be low and another thing is that absorption will not take place for good observation and good better absorption we should maintain a temperature around 70 okay and uh, we have discussed about the temperature now i am going to explain you about the problems we face during this startup and shutdown and during this normal operation generally uh, we get the problem if for example uh, if this acid pump is stopped then what will happen acid will not go so sulfur trioxide gas will goes out so it will be a problem so be careful about the sulfuric acid pump and uh, another thing is that if uh, if there is a hole in this uh, a candle filter then what will happen acid will go from uh, the gas will go if the gas carries acid mist then it will carry over to the other plant other equipment so what will happen other equipment will get damaged so these are the thing another thing is that here, uh, here is the ceramic packing and this is called grid which hold the packing if if the grid if there is a hole or if there is something problem in the grid then what will happen ceramic will fall down to or ceramic pieces will come down because of holes then what will happen this um, this uh, pieces of ceramic packing will go into this line and choke the line and uh, it may choke the if 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 this uh, small pieces pass through the line then it may choke the phe plate type heat exchanger so uh, we face so many troubles now uh, i would like to tell you about the startup procedure before starting the plant sulfuric acid plant or before starting sulfur firing we should start the sulfuric acid pump or i mean to say that circulation pump acid should get circulated in the drying tower intermediate absorption tower final tower and you should start oleum pump also so it will uh, before starting the uh, gas or before start doing sulfur burning or before starting the amine gas or water gas in the furnace we should start the acid pump first then acid should get circulated and all the equipment should get wet then then we, we should start the plant so this is the basic step we should follow and another thing i would like to explain you about the sulfur sublimation 
when sulfur sublimation take place what will happen sulfur uh, so sublimation is nothing but carry over sul sulfur if there is a less air in furnace then what will happen sulfur will carry over to the other plant mm, and the uh, auto ignition temperature is 44 and um, below 145 it start uh, melting or it sublimes so wherever the temperature below 145 so it sublimes so in furnace and in waste heat boiler in converter temperature will be high so the less temperature you can notice in this acid tower absorption tower because absorption tower temperature we maintain up to 70 to 75 so what will happen whatever the sulfur is there in the in present in the gas it will come and it will it will go with the gas and it plugs the candle filter so if candle filter plugs it means pressure drop increases so pressure drop increases it means that uh, there is a sulfur sublimation and and the main problem of the pressure drop is that if uh, for example take example if there is a hole in this candle filter then it means less pressure drop if there is a plugging it means high pressure drop so the pressure drop should be normal every plant and every tower design have some limited pressure drop so we should follow we should every uh, every month or every weekly we should check the pressure drop of this uh, tower also we should check the pressure drop of this candle filter inlet and outlet if pressure drop increases it means plugging if uh, low pressure drop means there is a hole so by checking the pressure drop or by knowing the pre inlet pressure and outlet pressure we can know that there is a problem or anything so this uh, method we find out the problems and uh, and many things uh, we can do it by checking the temperature and pressure